kind of rely on each other more, I guess. Delegate more than try to, everybody trying to be Superman, I guess. Why is Coach Grimps after the game? Excuse me? How was Coach Grimps after the game? Um, he's always positive. He always gives us credit. He always um, shows us a whole lot of love. Um, obviously, he's not, not happy. Nobody's happy. But um, and we're looking forward to moving forward. What do you think could have been the cause of the lack of trust in the foundation? Uh, I'm not sure. Initially, you know, just off the top of my head, I can't really tell you. I don't know. Um, so I'm, it's probably different for you know, everybody, honestly. Um, I got to look at myself and see what it is for me. So uh, it's something for us to focus on moving forward in this offseason and get fixed. What would be said on the sidelines after those quick scoring drives they were having? You guys got up to the sideline. How would you kind of come together and talk about it? How would you handle it? Uh, the biggest thing is, like, respond. That's, that's part of our foundation as well is just making sure that you know, football is football. You know, they're going to make plays. Um, it's not necessarily about being perfect, but it's about being able to bounce back and you know, give it your, ne your best shot the next time. Um, so that was the biggest thing after those big, big drives or uh, quick scores or whatever. Uh, but yeah, just responding, making sure we're leaving the pass in the pass and kind of coming at it with a new attitude, new energy. What goes through your head after a safety where you guys have to come right back on the field after giving up a touchdown drive? Um, obviously, like I said, it's a tough play, but I mean, I have confidence in our guys. Um, there's never a moment where I'm you know, down or um, kind of nervous. I just, you know, we got to play the next play. Like, that's the thing about it is like it never serves you any, any, it doesn't do you any good to like look back and be like, oh man, like I wish that wouldn't happen. Like, of course you did. Of course you wish it wouldn't happen, but this is the next play. This is the next opportunity. So you look at it as such, you know, you never know what could happen. Do you feel like you guys are pretty gassed on that last drive? Just having gotten back on the field so quickly? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's a piece of it, but I mean, like I said, it's football, you know, plays happen, man. You gotta be ready. Coach Riley mentioned how preparation for next season starts tomorrow. Uh, what goes into that for you, and what are you hoping to instill into this defense for next year to be more consistent? Yeah, I mean, I guess the first thing is just watching the film and correcting everything that we need to correct off of this. Um, as far as moving forward, it, I guess it's just, uh, For us as a defense, I guess it would just be, you know, playing together, playing fast, playing free. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. I, when we play fast and free, and we're having fun out there, like we're tough to we're tough to compete with. Um, that's obvious. Like we've shown it through um, through other games and different spurts and stuff. But it's just about being consistent and doing so. Is there a sense of disbelief as things were unfolding those last? <laughs> uh, not really, because like I was sitting there watching it. It wasn't really. It's just how life unfolded, man. Uh, it doesn't always swing your way because uh, you've been on the other side of it as well. So it's not really any disbelief with it. Rayshon Davis played a lot of special teams this year, not much linebacker. But what have you seen from him in practices and, and maybe yeah. even from tonight that would lead you to believe me? Is he somebody that could, could help you all a lot next yeah. season? Uh, Ray's a, he's a great player, man. Um, even in practice, you know, he, he shows up making plays and, you know, just being an athlete. Like, he's he moves really well. Um, and he showed up for us today, like we needed him and, and we counted on him and he showed up and uh, he did a great, he did a great job. What explains the kind of the disconnect between what you guys want to accomplish in theory on defense and what's actually been happening in the games? Uh, I would say probably just trusting, trusting our, you know, our scheme, trusting our fundamentals, trusting everything that we need to do. Um, like I said earlier, I think, you know, in year one, it's kind of, you, you obviously you want to accomplish everything, but you only have so much time, and so it's hard to get everything done at, at first. And we have something that we can build off of, and we obviously have stuff that we know that we need to work on. And moving forward, that's going to be you know a focus. That initial trust. I mean, does it feel like in games like this, maybe not necessarily having that fully solidified, it starts to snowball a little bit when things do go wrong? Yeah, I think it can. But I mean, that's that's part of it too. It's like. Relying on the foundation, a part of, like I said, part of it is responding, you know, for those kind of situations and being able to bounce back and, you know, give your best shot the next time and kind of leave the pass in the pass. Um, but yeah, it's just something that we've got to keep, keep harping on. I don't think we necessarily need to change anything, just improve the stuff that we're doing as far as, you know, I think everything is there. I don't see anything that's missing. I think it's the repetition and the belief in that. Riley mentioned the tackling was a little bit of an issue. It seems late in the season it was. What can you kind of attribute that to? I know it's something you guys worked on the last two weeks. Too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We got to finish. Individually, collectively, we got to finish. That's what it is. Let's do one more here.
when you say be more consistent, and Nick Kibber was talking about finishing a lot, you're 13 games into the season now, how do you finish at the end of the year? Um, I don't think it's necessarily just like at the end of the year, right? Like you have the whole off season, you have to finish in everything that you do, whether it be workouts, whether it be a sprint, whether it be you know, a meal, whatever, like the smallest of things. And that's how I look at it. Um, like I said, we came together really fast. We have a lot of success this year. Like despite you know losing the big games that we wanted to win, obviously we've had a lot of success. And I don't think it's realistic to, to say that you know you should have everything set in stone or you should um, you know be exactly where you want to be after year one. I don't think that's really realistic. I think what we've done is built a great foundation, and I'm proud of everybody. I'm proud of our coaches. I'm proud of our staff. Um, but now we have something that we can look forward to. Something that we can build on. Um, finishing is, a, is something that. Obviously, it's finishing, it's at the end. And so we, we started out the game strong. We played a strong game. Um, but like the end, we let it go. So that's something that we have to focus on in the Thank future. You. Thank, Thank you, Shane.